Hello everyone and welcome to Use Utility. Today we are going to see how to play Idle Heroes on PC using the brand new Bluestacks 5, that is designed for blazing fast speed and high octane action. We will be able to easily download and install Idle Heroes and enjoy the game on our Windows PC with keyboard, mouse and big screen thanks to Bluestacks 5, which is the Android emulator that we recommend to play Idle Heroes. So without further ado, let's get to it. Before anything else folks, to start we have to launch our favorite browser. We selected the one we prefer. Let's continue, going to that URL I'm highlighting in green color. There you are seeing it on the screen of the PC. You don't need to type anything, simply because I added a clickable link in the description of this video and as well in the first main comment. We ended up here on the website of Usitility, at which we get a precise information on how you can download and install Idle Heroes on laptop or computer. We search down a little bit and just click on the download game on PC button. Once clicking on the link, we reach the website of Bluestacks. No panic, it is simply the Android emulator that we will run to play Idle Heroes on our PC. It is now obvious that we access a number of pros of preferring this emulator. So we will start downloading the Idle Heroes by clicking on this button play on Bluestacks that you can visualize here in green. The step is clicking on that button. Of course, the download action takes no time at all. Here it is, here is located the download. It's an executable file. The following step is to run the installer, so we need to click on the file. Windows 10 users will be asked for permission to make modifications to the computer. We have clicked yes. I minimize the browser to find the installer better. The installation software is pretty simple. It contains two possibilities, install and setup path. I am going to describe what setup path truly does. We just simply click on it. And therefore we see that we end up with here the path in which the emulator can be set up. If we would like to vary this directory we are required to click on that browse option, and we opt for another folder and set up the emulator wherever we wish. I prefer to leave it by default. I simply click back. Therefore I click on install. Fantastic. The installation begins and it's going to go forward together with the download of those MB which are shown on our computer screen. When you save it on your machine, it could possibly be more or less MB. The download rate can be faster or slower, determined by your web access and depending on the performance of the emulator hosting servers. Right now they are running very fast. The download is finished, and now it proceeds with the installation phase. With Bluestacks 5 you can even reduce RAM usage with a single click. Especially useful if you ever face performance related problems. In addition, you can activate Eco Mode to enjoy 87% reduced CPU usage, 97% reduced GPU usage and easier multitasking. As you can see, Bluestacks 5 is built to provide stability and performance during long gaming sessions. The installation has already finished for me. At present, the emulator has been started immediately. As you can discover, down here, there's a progress bar that will move forward to the right so when it attains the finish, the emulator is going to be started for the first time. Indeed, the emulator has already been started, here for the very first time. Before we keep going, as you can discover, it has made two app icons right here on the PC desktop. The Bluestacks and Bluestacks multi-instance. Note that the Bluestacks software icon will be the only one we're concerned with. Whenever we would like to launch Idle Heroes on the desktop or laptop, we twice mouse click on this particular icon and therefore start the emulator. The Bluestacks multi-instance icon allows you to launch multiple emulator instances. And with Bluestacks 5's new improved multi-instance manager in eco mode, players can run more game instances faster and with less lag. Shall we do the following step, that is a must have, and that's to begin browsing the Google Play Store. And we'll click on Play Store. As you can view the Google Play is launched. Right here we must log on. So now when we're there, we must absolutely begin doing the following step that is absolutely mandatory. Therefore just click on, sign in. Presently it says, checking info. It could in some cases get stopped at checking info, and this doesn't advance. In this case, you can attempt to log in in after a number of hours but it will surely most likely be solved. At this time we are going to insert our email and password. The email needs to be a Gmail email address and its associated password. As an example you can utilize the same email you use at the moment in your own YouTube account. Thus I will insert my data and I'll return when I have completed it. Voila! Data typed in. And here is Google welcoming us and presenting us the terms of service. We should agree to them all by just pressing, I agree. Following that, it offers us to save to the Google Cloud. You could keep it checked and it'll build a backup of your data files on that device to Google Drive. I won't check it, you can utilize that option if you desire. We just click on accept. Google Play, formerly Android Market, is launched automatically and immediately. To set up the app game, we must browse the Android emulator desktop by double-clicking on the app icon marked green-colored. 
At present that we are on the desktop of this Android emulator, we can see that we now have right here the install application button. We click or double click on this button. Listed here we have the game app. Let's quickly then click there on the install option that I am just displaying now in green color. That click will start the software installation. At present it is going to download on your desktop or laptop and set up the game app. It will take a bit of time or perhaps it might well be very fast. It again all is going to depend on the connection to the internet. It's by then finished installing. It's time to go back to the emulator desktop by clicking on this particular button I'm presenting in green, so that you can start Idle Heroes for the first time. You are already on the emulator desktop, then we're on the way to just click on that brand new Idle Heroes app icon which was provided. Your game is started for the very first time. Here we get it, I could press anywhere on the screen and also make use of the keyboard. I have to comment on the volume level of this emulator. This is here. We have got the icon of higher volume as well as the icon of lower volume. This way we don't use the Microsoft Windows volume to increase or decrease the audio of your emulator. And also to enjoy the experience to the maximum, we could activate the big screen, for which we have two choices. This one is the first one, we mouse click on that software icon that I am indeed mentioning in green color. Thus the screen is maximized, offering one border on top, one at the right and the last one at the bottom. Granted that we desire to have fun with the video game using all the screen, we click this particular game icon. And we might at present be experiencing the gameplay in full screen setting. To quit the 100% screen functionality, just click the F11 key. And we might now end up being in standard computer screen mode. At present, I am going to demonstrate to you the computer keyboard mapping and that is actually quite helpful. This step we definitely will be in a position to use the game application a lot more effortlessly. The very first point is to press this computer keyboard icon. It's now time to get the required setups. I'm going to keep the standard configuration, though if you intend to adjust it, you may very well do it now with no problem. Obviously, the emulator is completely in our own language. Occasionally it occurs that the emulator is started in the improper language, as an example, in Mandarin. And as a consequence to set it in the proper language we click here to the cogwheel. And thus here inside of additional configuration settings, we just click on the language drop down. We should select the language we like, German, Mandarin, and so forth. Once the language is determined, we could save, the emulator will reboot, and also the game application, the next time we launch it, will also be in the chosen language. So now, there is another information that we will need to take into consideration, and it's that we will receive an email indicating that a different electronic device has been associated with our Google account. It will likely question us if we're the people who have associated with that electronic device. Indeed, we should not be troubled, since the emulator is simulating an Android tablet or smartphone. So you can see which smartphone or tablet is being emulated, we visit here, to the cogwheel and we click on it. Let's go here to the, model, choice. And right here we learn that the emulator is acting as a Samsung cellular phone. And so we're going to receive an email saying that a new Samsung device has been connected to our Google account. This is it folks, so much for that training. I hope that you enjoyed it, particularly that everyone found it interesting. If that is so, allow it a good thumb up, subscribe to our channel, and I will be happy to answer all your remarks, issues or ideas, leave them in the comment box down below. You may also comment things on my Twitch channel, I perform live streams ever so often, you have it below in the video description and in the very first pinned comment. Simply click on any of these instructional videos which are usually showing up on the computer screen and let's have fun again in the upcoming online videos. Bye.